hanging out with us. You got your first career double double, career high tonight. What made you so effective? Um, no, it was, I knew it was a big game. Um, I knew my teammates wanted, needed a lot of me. I think, I think I just try to try to take on that challenge, and um, I'm just thankful that we won. Freshman year, you play alongside as a dynamic duo. Your friend Mello Trimble, uh, you still stay in touch with him. But what were the subtleties, some of the tricks of the trade, so to speak, that you picked up from competing with him uh, last year? One thing I saw about Mello, he was always poised. Um, he never got too rattled. Um, he never, he never let the let the bright lights get in, get into what he needed to do. Um, so that's what I just tried to do today. Um, I just tried to try to lead my team the best way I can. And um, like I said, I'm just thankful that we got the win. Your coach, Mark Turgeon, has uh, been talking about this team trying to be a little bit more physical because uh, down the stretch last year, you guys got out-rebounded. It's a point of emphasis coming into this season. You did a great job tonight. How about the player of your bigs tonight? Oh, the bigs did a great job. Um, Bruno, freshman, really stepped up. Checo really stepped up. Even really stepped up. Um, the one player that really stood out to me was Darren Marcel. Um, he took on the challenge. Uh, he guarded one of the best players, and I think he did a great job on him, and that, that was one of the big keys uh, why, we, why we won the game. Bruno Fernando, this guy is uh, he's coming off an ankle injury. That's why he's not in the uh, starting lineup. But how good can this guy be? He's tenacious. <laughs> There's no selling him down. I'm, I'm surprised we can't hear him screaming in front of the locker room right now. He never starts talking. Um, he's just a great teammate and uh, just a great person to be around. If there's one aspect offensively and one aspect defensively that coach is going to stay on your team about and that you guys know to get ready for, ace, for, for Big Ten play, uh, what are those one key offense? Point of emphasis for Coach Turgeon before this game started. When he gets the ball close in, forget it. Wiley can tee it up from three. And Cowan is the source of all things good for the Turks. 10 nothing. You guys, the Turks playing with those four fouls. The house is going to leave most people alone up there. Nice touch pass inside to Fernando. That's a great job by the game. And this is the situation out at the top of the left of your screen. All Bruno Fernando does is roll down into the lane after setting a screen. Terps averaging 18 points a game through the first three games of this season. Herter spinning again. Oh, that unbelievable unguardable. That close to the basket. Why is he coming out of the game? Probably a dumb question to you, Dan Bonner, <laughs> but to me, I'm like, I'm confused. Terps the other way. Becoming the go-to scoring source for the Terrapins. Maryland has done a nice job when they've been able to push the ball up the court and it's a great pass on the inside. Anthony Cowan finding her. Those are two of the guys out with him. Inside huddle, they've been really efficient. Well, and when Mark Turgeon says he's got to find a combination that's going to be efficient, having used 11 starting lineup combinations, you got to take a look at the guys out on the floor right here because they are moving the ball around, moving without it, playing with a lot of confidence. And the reason for the confidence is because they're at about 40. That shot won't go from outside. With a miss on the play by Bridges. Down oh, the floor and up high coming down was Marcel. A little bust out with an 8-0 lead coming down the floor. Count with a perfect delivery. Marcel running the floor. Nobody from Michigan State getting... And he backs off. So break somebody down to get your shooters ready to shoot. Good feed okay. inside. And they got it with more shots. The numbers for the young Isaiah Roby, very impressive. 10.7 and a half rebounds. Good work inside with a shot clock winding down, getting it to Derek. It looks like Nebraska, they just absolutely fall asleep. There's not much time left on the clock, but cannot let someone roll in uncontested to the rim. To me, that looks like it's going to count. Yes, it is. Both teams started 0 for Nebraska, 0 for 3. Maryland 0 for 4 since. No. They found nothing. Anthony Cowan around the screen from Fernando finds Marcel underneath and somehow able to drop that one over the right side. I thought it was too deep. I think the back check thus far. See just a little reach there from the back. Probably a foolish play there on the Tim Mark. 
to get a touch on the offensive glass. I'm with you. I thought it was going to go against Fernando. It's Morsell. Dents it off the heel. And that was a big shot for the Wildcats. Where they were on the rocks or ropes. Cowan to answer right back, and he does. Why do you leave the ball? And a timeout taken here by Mark Turgeon and Maryland. Woo, big mistake. Nine points now for Anthony Cowan Jr. And we've got ourselves a ball game. Because they know the Olympic threes. Cowan saw the opening, goes to the hoop, off the glass, puts it in. He keeps on thinking that he got a foul. How about that, though? What an extension by the little guy. He has nine points in the, in the second half, 11 in the game. Tough drive, and they cover the baseline beautifully. Cowan, steal look at the this head. Look at this, the finish by Wiley after the feed by Morcel. And at the beginning, Anthony Cowan, <laughs> his numbers weren't impressive for you. Well, this kid, big time ticker, really is a great feel. With that little baby hook that little guys have to possess if they're going to dominate. And he's still a politicker for some uh, free throws. He does. He keeps on telling the officials, look, I'm getting hit when I'm going to the, when I'm going to the hoop. He's got 11 now. Back on December 3rd at Illinois, 92-91 in OT and falling and fading. Away. That is what we're alluding to. No sense doing that. The wrong guys are ended up with the basketball on it infrequently, and this kid is so good at tacking. Big, strong shoulders, able to finish. You get the feeling it's going to be Cowan, Herder coming down the stretch, maybe Wiley. And then some offensive rebounding, too, with Fernando in there. Cowan Ooh, to Herder. This guy. Yep. Here's Herder, his pull-up, too strong. There's Fernando, the offensive rebound. Nice fake Morcell, and then he gives to Cal a little teardrop up and in. Nice job. Yeah, he is indeed, and the minutes have gone way up. Here's the turnover, leading to the aforementioned Morcell, finishing with a left. And he's doing all that in a generously listed. Offensively, and here he turns it over. Nice active hands, leads to a breakout opportunity. Cowan to Morcell, off the window. How about the strength by Morcell to play through some contact, and the unselfish play by Cowan understood that he had a size disadvantage with the trick. Talented front line of Penn State making his presence known in the absence of Tchaikovsky Brown and he's really rebounded at an elite level, averaging right around seven rebounds per ball game over the last eight. But here in the early going, showing some strength and versatility in the open floor. Here the recipient of an excellent unselfish play by Anthony Cowan, two of two from the floor. He's also had an assist, and rebounding continues to be an area of expertise. Lead bigger than six in this game. Cowan with Maryland up two. Tough catch by Morcell driving on Watkins, muscled at home. The best players on this team, the offense goes through that. And here's Cowan dishing off, he leads him an assist. Cowan on the dish, that's an easy one. He can make plays like not play at all in the first half. He is one big guy. Took some frustration out for sitting over on that bench. With a bucket, another foul. What Maryland is doing right now. Nice D by Morsell on that. He sat most of the first half to Daryl Morsell with the two fouls. Now he commits the turnover, but they get it right back. Good hustle plays. Reward him. Reward him, Mr. Cowan. When he makes plays like that, you got to get him the ball. Assist number six for. Obi almost <laughs> lost the handle. Somehow he kept the basketball. How did he get that ball? Cowan. Oh, a blush. Daryl Morcell, the true freshman, showing off here at home. Since that last time out, Maryland doing a very nice job moving the ball, forcing the defense to move and react. And Morcell, he's one of those freshmen. You know, they've got a three, those three sophomores, but they've got a couple of freshmen. Fernando is the one, Morcell is the other one. They're very excited about him. You see his numbers on the year coming off the bench. He had 13 points against Butler on Wednesday. A four-star recruit.
Marcel, the jumper, gets the roll. Textbook offense. Ball on the left hand side of this. Marcel off the backboard. It's taken away by Baldwin. Up ahead now for Fowler, broken up by Tchaikovsky. Here comes Callen. Callen, alley you for Marcel. Three, no, Herder running out for Cowan. Cowan got it and the foul. This place is loving it right now. He just saw here. Well, Anthony Cowan out in transition. Alley to Marcel, easy basket inside. The bench is loving it. They're hyped. And now. Going again in transition, a little hezzy, hesitation, able to split the defense and get inside. To be a lot of excitement in this building, I think, for a lot of this season here at home. Swung in the last couple of seconds with some big time plays. Well, the hustle right here, and Cowan not panicking, be able to knock in that jump shot, good deep, better O. Then on the defensive end of the court, Keenan Martin kind of seemed uncertain. The easiest steal of the night, and Darrell Morsell. Give me two of those. All took place in a shooter. Illinois might want to find ways to get him more looks because he has made them. Good backyard cut to Morsell. That's, that's great coaching. I mean, Mark Turgeon drew that up in that timeout. They know that Illinois. It's a game time type movement. Anthony Cowan, Maryland's leading scorer, lobs it back door for the freshman Daryl Morsell, who levitated and caught it to put it in. Well, I love the play. Goes crying off the front frame, the quick release out to Morsell. Length of the floor. Now well, that was too easy. 67 64. The offensive end, nice screen to free it. Macy Daly along the baseline. Morsell. Coming up big down the stretch. Shot clock winding down. And Mitchell, nice. Morsell, I should say, with a nice spin move there. Murphy can't get it to go. But after Murphy took that shot, Kanate should have stayed. Great burst that time. Kanate had his back turned. Morsell with a nice job flying up the floor. And that is Kowski, man. I have not seen him that aggressive and get in position in a long, long time. Allen again. Well. He waited to call his own number, and he has the last two times down. 56 to... Is called. That is Gavin Block, number 22 in green. We talked about Daryl Morsell. He is a guy that's got the great ability to get to the basket and score on the inside. You can see it right there, and Anthony Cowan does a great job getting the defender out. He said he pushed him if he wanted to. Tchaikovsky ready for the pretty good anticipation. He is really going to be a big one, but you can't give opportunities like this without some sort of help. And that is just an unbelievable delivery at the end. But the touch, Cowan, he's clever, he's deceptive, and he's a team player. See if they can keep an eye on Herder, who's been very good from three lately. Cowan Jr. left open for three, knocks it down. Merrill is short by Grant. The look-ahead pass for Marcel for the dunk. And that's another great look by Kylan Jr. who's playing a really good floor game. The fast break game has been quiet, but here Kylan Jr. with the perfect pass with the finish. Guard 
for the Badgers. A 6'3 freshman, number 34 is a six foot sophomore, number one, Anthony Callan Jr. And at guard for, and at guard for Maryland, a 6'7 sophomore, number four, Kevin Herter. The Badgers are coached by... In transition, smart play. Now it takes the ball down. This is a deep three. Able to knock it in, but look at the defense for Butler. All sucked in below the free throw line. And that's just a heady play. And that time, Keenan Martin kind of bailed out himself by going for the steal. Not a play you expect from your senior. Maryland able to capitalize. We're in College Park, but it's a foreign invasion going on right now. Domination inside Zikoski. Sean is where is Ali Utsin. How about the outstanding freshman? Give me those two inside. A little ballerina move right there, Justin. What do you think? We talk about Tchaikovsky. That was like Barishnikov right there <laughs> by Bruno Fernando. I mean, this is a guy was like Barishnikov right there <laughs> by Bruno Fernando. I mean, this is a guy who's 6'10", 245. You look at him and you don't say that's an 18, 19-year-old no. freshman. Uh, no. Mature, the energy. But I think he's learned, too, from Tchaikovsky in regards to how to tailor that a little bit more. And as a coach, you want to have a player that you have to amp down a little bit and bring down. You don't want one you always have to kind of push. Not to get to worry about that. By each team with nothing to follow as Fernando got rid of it against OKK. Get into, the rim, into the paint, keeps his head to the rim and finishes. There's that double team comes immediately, but Fernando able to pass right out of it to Daryl Morcel. And you had to figure it's probably going to be Morcel's man on the double. You see Isaiah Roby. Kelly Pfeiffer said he got him on the head, but there is. That is one of those deals. I can do two for one now. A nice job reacting, a little cover from the top. You see Hurdy down to take that passing lane away. But I would go quick. Oh, Got to get back. Nice pass. Marcel, the alley for Fernando. Bang! Ten seconds to go. No celebrating. Get Look at that. What a pass. Fernando fighting Daryl Morcel. Oh, look at that feed inside the Fernando. Well, the screen and roll has been really difficult for Penn State to defense all night. Uh, three points. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, I think we just said Bruno Fernando's a budding star, right? <laughs> I think the bud has blossomed, brother. Oh, with authority. He's got explosiveness for a 6'10 player. That's rare. And I said a moment ago, he looks like he's 25. He's just a man. I mean, yeah. that was a man's dunk right there. Indeed. And, yeah, this is a BTN standout presented by Discover. Out of bounds play, just lofted up there. A guard underneath him here on the switch has no chance. Sanders has no chance. He just got buried on that play. He got posterized. Yes, posterized. Nine points, six boards, a block. I'm happy. Uh, Andrew Terrell uh, is a funny kid. I and mean, if you get to talk to Andrew, it make you laugh. And I just think that he keeps the guys happy in the right Especially going for this. Man, I have not really a good year, you know, they're still young, but I just feel like Andrew, he's a great locker room guy. He a little fort party, but <laughs> Bruno Fernando, speaking of a party, this is his first career three coach. Nothing but bottom also. And look at his enthusiasm, huh? This guy loves playing. He loves playing. 18 points, career high 13 rebounds. He's probably his first bad shot right there. Fernando with his third rebound of the game. Marcel hits the two. Now, Deion Wiley started the game, but Marcel has started the second half. Moore having a hard time inbounding the basketball. Throws it away. Fernando steals it to Marcel. <laughs> Marcel providing a spark. Once again. 
you wanted to start the second half if you're Maryland more just in a little bit of a panic there what a great job by Fernando to control the ball and then without any panic find an open player running down the court so here's the two freshmen Fernando half time. tend to shoot blocked away by Bruno Fernando Marcel Marcel played so well. Brown. Right. That Marcel. Who else? Bruno Fernando, who's becoming a crowd favorite here in College Park, can feel the W. A nice job battling on the inside. <laughs> Bruno Fernando, he likes college basketball, I think. He's in I learned that Fernando can really be a force on the inside. And he was tonight. 14 Alex. points and nine boys. Thank you, I appreciate it. Now, Coach Turgeon, what did he talk about at halftime and was he calm? Um, <laughs> no, he was not calm, but uh, we basically talked about getting stops. Um, at halftime, they scored 50 points, and that's unacceptable because Coach Turgeon and we pride and, and us, we pride ourselves on defense. So we knew in the second half we had to come out and get stops in order to win. Well, now, obviously in the second half, he came out, he put you on the point guard. Is that a challenge that you relish? Uh, yeah, I'm a competitive individual. Um, he was getting to the whole uh, scoring in the first half, so he decided to switch it up, put some length on him, and I think that helped us in order to help us get the win. Well, now your big guy inside, Fernando, he was sure impressive against a pretty good player. Yes, uh, Bruno is phenomenal. Uh, he's only a freshman, but he's a man down there. Uh, he, he held his own uh, defensively. He came through and scored buckets when we need him offensively. It, it was great. He played well. Well, thank you very much for visiting with us. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Greg, back to you. Dan, no good. A good job altering that by Justin Jackson. Back the other way. It's Bruno off the glass. Look at the way he moves. Uh, I'm telling you, folks, it's first time watching him. And an offensive foul against Weidman drawn by Bruno Fernando. And say he's going to be a fan favorite you very think, quickly. You think we got the student section behind us and they're going crazy, but you know, you cannot fake this kind of energy. Either you have it or you don't. And as a young player, he has it. I'm ready to play. Well, <laughs> good defense by Morcel. Shot clock down to three. Morcel takes it away. Morcel with the dunk. A lob over a 7 1 guy. This is a great rebound by Morcel, and lots of times in those offensive rebounding situations, that's when you get the best looks of three. And Morcel. They lost at home against Purdue 80 to 75 in their first conference game of the year. Morcel angling to the basket. We talked about Morcel as a young man that's got plenty of athletic ability, and there he just sees the hole and fills it just drives the ball to the baseline uses his muscle to get around the corner there then powers the ball up to the goal catch release and a three justin deflected it away 
Marcel drives the ball to the basket. The defense collapses. Offense collapses on Tchaikovsky. And that leaves Jackson wide open in the corner. We mentioned Jackson has not played through contact. Nice show there defensively by Stevens. Lost it. Marcel got it back. Everybody here wanted to travel. No call. And Nickinson hits the mid-range. Let's look at Maryland first, so they did a great job of getting the ball inside with Michael Tchaikovsky and Bruno Fernando. And it seemed like they were really focusing on that, not taking too many threes early. They only took eight threes all half. Bruno Fernando obviously was doing work, wasn't double teamed inside. He definitely took advantage of that. So Maryland did a really good job of getting their offense jump started in the paint. You may have Cowan guarding a big guy. You must recognize it, move that basketball, and try to get it inside. They find it inside. Maryland is minus three per game in turnover margin for the year. It's Kevin Herter. Well, here comes Herter. Nice Now you. Marcel for the dunk. Well, Herter has a great feel. He play. This is just Herter seeing things. And, of course, the ability at the rim. Marcel, big time. Gavin Skelly, a 74% free throw shooter. ...to find the cutting reach. Herter slips it inside, Morsell. Another tough finish against Watkins. In and out, Jackson, big defensive rebound. The turns with numbers. Morsell, easy back in. We really like Morsell. He's playing the point guard on offense, and he's guarding... And now his third rebound, up ahead for Morsell. Able to save it, hangs in the air, puts it in! Moving up to Madison Square Garden in December as Herter throws it down. An emphatic finish from the sophomore. Oh my goodness. You can't do that in Clifton Park. The, the rims <laughs> fall down. Because <laughs> Maryland ends the half on a 26-4 run. They have dominated in the last 10 minutes as Herter gets it done with our halftime report coming up next. PN's Holiday Hoops presented by Zales. Welcome back to the beautiful Xfinity Center where Maryland leads Fairleigh Dickinson by 23. It's well field goals in the game for Fairleigh Dickinson. Morsell, look out! Out of foul! That was a three-on-one textbook. Coming off the loose ball hurt with the good hit ahead and then Maryland really knowing how to run the lane and don't see much of a foul there. Good finish. The adjustments they're having to make right now are very cruel for any program. And Alley Oop is a good one again. Herder is absolutely feeding and fanning everyone. More so gets more and more. Minnesota, take a look at the screen being set. Herder gets the ball. Screen set. He goes for the alley oop. Look how much room between the defender and Herter. And no hands up, nothing. Herter just has clear vision to throw that alley oop. And, you know, Minnesota, you're down 15th against Indiana State as a Charleston Classic. This is a team that comes in averaging 80 points a game. Which of the University of District Columbia women's team. Shots tonight. He's got 17 points in the game now, but he just looks so smooth shooting the basketball. When he's open, you expect it to go in, and there he gets a block shot. So that's eight block shots for the Turks. Has been impressive a couple of times tonight, showing you his ability. And Morsell makes a nice pass there. He gets the assist to Herder, but again, Herder moving without the basketball. When you give Herder any room at all, it, you, you just think the ball's going in the basket. It's at 28. Herter. Now, Fernando did take a three, and I think that'll be the last one he takes all year. Nice dump down from Herter to Morsell. Very patient by Morsell. And that was a great play by Morsell because he fumbled that ball. He made a great pass, so good that I think he surprised Morsell. Morsell dropped the ball, but took his time, recovered it, got a dribble, got himself on balance, and scored a very difficult shot. Here's Marcel again putting it on the floor. And he finds Herder to come to the hook the second half. It's Maryland ball. Alley U for Herder! Perfect execution out of a timeout. That was a design play in the perfect lob at the right angle and Herder. 
Gets on his trampoline and goes over the top. This is a beautiful inbounds play. Under the basket and just lobbing it right over the top. And defensively, they lost sight of Horner who cuts straight to the rim. Very good cutter and a very good job by Horner at moving without the ball. That's something he's improved. Looking for space. He's been quiet since exploding for the 14 points early in the first half. Marcel, oh man, on the step back, one-legged jump shot. Don't do that. And one of the few times he's been able to do it, more so. This little step back. You got that in your arsenal? Take over. He runs to the ball and then takes it to the basket. Langford and congestion shooting. Nice way to get down on the floor quickly. Nickens got it the other way. Marcel! Beautiful jump stop, too. Look at Dubio KK and Jordy Chimango, what they've been able to do really over the last two games. Playing a player like James Palmer gets to his right hand, especially in transition. You're setting yourself up to get dunked on. James Palmer throwing it down with some authority. Timeout on the floor. Nebraska back on top. And a little bit of arguing as we go to break in Lincoln. And at the end of that play, as Maryland got to the half-court line, Anthony Cowan stopped calling a timeout. Glenn Watson ran into him, and Daryl Morcel took a little umbrage to that collision and went into the Nebraska huddle for a few extra words. It's generally frowned upon. Uh, it could be a scary place you go in there by yourself. Everybody's smiling. We are talking about right before the timeout, the collision there. The timeout's called, and it's like the guy who stopped short. On the freeway, a little bump, and then there's Daryl Morcel. Conversation on Watson. And Donald. No harm, no foul. Watson rejected on his way in by Morcel. There's the ultimate revenge. Play by Daryl Morcel, getting it going on one end. The great block, able to take it coast to coast. Nebraska just runs right up their back. Six of eight. Including a 74-70 defeat at Penn State on Wednesday, but the Turks do not look the part. Morcel does a great job looking off the defense series anymore. Not your dad, Spurs and Warriors, if you're watching at home. When you look at the Warriors, leading the NBA, continues to find ways to manufacture points and remain close in this ballgame. Fernando to find Morcel. Stop. This young man is having himself an afternoon. That's block number seven for Maryland. And turnover number nine for the Turtles. We're a little loose with the basketball, Jason Cable. Four to shoot. And the follow is there, Morsell. if they can't take their talents to the road and come away with wins. Especially with it being a little easier this year to get a yes. quadrant one win on the road. If you They're winning this ball game and controlling it late because of it. Spin for Wiley. Off the volley, Maryland gets two more. Borsell with some strong work in the paint. Maryland just has a different... No hesitation there. No, not at all. <laughs> You're right on it. Nice now pass. he is here for Tchaikovsky. You got to step up, step up and address the drive. Marcel, what a terrific penetrator that kid is. Usually with some size and strength. A 9 nothing run. So you get into the lane, so important. And, and Marcel, you can just see you have to address the penetration a little bit slow in the recovery by Benson. Can't cover two. That dribble, what a valuable weapon. He caught it cleanly, and then he thought and it threw off his rhythm. Reeves does have 11. Woo! What a tough finish by Daryl Morcell. That's the second time, Brandon, he's played through some pretty significant contact at the rim. That's about the sophomores. How about the freshman performance so far by Morcell? I mean, you're taking it right at one of the premier shot blockers, not just in the conference, but nationally, puts his shoulder right to the rim, and then is able to reload and convert on the way down. Morcel, very, very impressive at six. Able to be disciplined in games like game situations such as this one. In the corner for the tie. Morcel hits the three. Just as in the hammer by the big man. 
One more coming at the line for Tchaikovsky. And sometimes we're talking about whether... ...ball athletic department, and these guys here in the Big Ten are the best there is. Marcel gets to the rim for the first time this afternoon. Sell for two for Maryland. All right, you've seen this league. Do you agree with the assessment that Michigan is, is jump shot? Good to see Wiley back knee injury last year. Missed some games as a sophomore. Took the red shirt. On the mid stage here. Iverson had it blocked by Morcell. Three-point badger lead. Maryland with the ball. Morcell on the take. Strong to the basket. The freshman from Baltimore. You can see what they're trying to do, Brian. They're on his left shoulder. I couldn't believe shoulder. I couldn't believe how big that brace was when we were watching them with the shooting shirts. I couldn't believe it. Morcel uh, puts it in. Six against the Terrapins. Daryl Morcel backing down his defender. And one. That's quickness and power. I mean, he does a great job. The defender is trying to get in position. That's Jimmy Sotos, but he's he's overmatched if Morcell can get goal. Daryl Morcell, a six foot four freshman, he was a four star recruit who helped deliver the star of this year's recruiting class for Coach Turgeon. Look at the tip, Wiley bringing the Terps back, 59-58. Needed a pick me up. Freshman Daryl Morcell is providing that. What a second half so far for number 10. He's 6 for 9 from the floor in this game, and he leads the Terps in scoring with 14. He's made 5 of the 7 field goal attempts in the second half. One man. Skip pass. Wiley for 3. Got it. Butler. Well... The Red Shirt Jr. making his presence felt. Other side, three ball. Side box. Drip there by Baldwin. Baldwin back the other way. Puts it up and has it blocked by Morcell. If it wasn't going to be Morcell who got the block, it was going to be the trailer. He better believe two great defensive plays. That time Baldwin helping in on the dribble on Tchaikovsky, but also getting back on defense and not a Trying to keep it alive, Tchaikovsky has it, Morcell the other way, into traffic, puts it up, gets the rebound and puts it back in. Daryl Morcell, the freshman out of Baltimore, has got eight. Free throw offense, another one, okay? All right, got to get a little closer to 30, okay? Pretty good, you were shaking hands with him, you were shaking hands. Okay? Got to put three stops together in a row. Put three stops together right here, okay? Put these in. Number 30, pretty good. It's a matter we're trying to figure out, especially this is a tough place to play. He was recruited to play by Barry Collier. He was recruited to coach by Barry Collier. And as Daryl Morcell knocks down the third, he was right. They do listen. Keelan Martin has it blocked by Daryl Morcell, the freshman from Baltimore. He's been impressive. Basketball, and you see the great anticipation on defense. And Morcell finishes. Maryland shooting over 70%. Just a frugal 26%. Really hurting fairly Dickinson in this matchup in the guard play. Look at that speed by Jenkins. Is rejected, however, by Morcell. Stepped on the line. We'll stay on this end with a fresh 30. We saw in that last play, and Jared Dickens missed that shot, but that's what Mark Turgeon wants. Maryland to do is here you see the great anticipation those passes are he's just Maryland's just gonna eat those up and spit them out but what they want to now Cowan jr. out to Morsel he'll take care of the rest 13 for Morsel Pat Morsel Durham hustles back to no avail a chance at three for the freshman Morsel Robert Johnson. That time when the shot went up, he was supposed, he was in the strong side corner. He was supposed to get back and he didn't. That allowed for the fast break opportunity to more. 
Luka Turgeon said it right. He said, my guys played well, but they played out of their minds in that game. Well, they're just so deep and talented. Great cut and marvelous move by Morcel. That Nunji's not going to be able to keep up with Wiley or Morcel on the perimeter. And Maryland has recognized that going with just Tchaikovsky up front. So this is a smaller lineup for Maryland. Working inside, Pencil can't get it to go. Well defended there by Tchaikovsky. And he's the trailer here. Feed and fan the big fella. That, was a, that ended up being a good play because Marcel was in trouble. Well, look at Marcel. Gets in the air, doesn't really know where to go with it. But the big fella running the floor gets a gift, a late Christmas gift. Michael Tchaikovsky coming through with the hand to watch that. And the other factor, too, is because Iowa does play a lot of people. There's a beautiful lob, and Tchaikovsky gets it done. Herter really knows where he is. Marcel on a blow-by. Boy, and he just split that double team with ease. Game of runs. This game is far from over. Marcel. Unabated. Straight line drive. And it's 80. With all of the... Efficiency Maryland's demonstrated on the offensive end. Minnesota keeps hanging around. And they've done it with Trace. So that's their fifth three pointer. Managed to stay in distance because of that. In traffic. How did he get that? No. Marcel with the iron kind. And it's 27 to 21. No doubt about it. Minnesota struggling from the perimeter, but answers coming now for Maryland. Marcel, the freshman from Baltimore, knocking it home, and the lead is up to 12. Yeah, Michael Tchaikovsky is everywhere around the basket, and his teammates are... Ohio teammates won last Friday against Coppin State, 80-37. to Held Coppin State to just 21% shooting in our first half. And so it was Mickle, Dan, who created some confusion there with the basket and then the steal. Mickle did a great job running the court. That was a blocked shot that time. As Dan mentioned, an all-freshman selection in the Mid-American Conference last year. Morcell just over the ice. Obi's originally from Nigeria and a transfer from Duke. Nice pass. Maryland met at the rim. Morcell. Marcel comes all the way across the lane and he gets all ball right there. Taylor's trying to pull it back. Maryland now has seven blocks in the game. James Gullin shooting three. Three of those belong to Fernando before he had to leave the game. But that sprained right ankle won't keep him out too long. Collin has 12 points in the game. He's made all six of his free throws. Marcel, change of direction. Boy, he's hard to guard around the basket, isn't he? In the locker room with a double-digit lead at the half. Tchaikovsky rolling to the basket. That was a terrific Marcel. Marcel's a tough guy, gives him some swagger and attitude, and he gave them a little creativity on the pass, and the Turks are up by a touchdown. Chris Holman not happy with his team. Up in just a bit. Herder to Morcell. Morcell drives inside. Gets it through. Oh, Haas, the bucket of the foul. Wow. I thought he was just going to keep going up. Morcell very aggressive. He just takes that. He plants that foot and up he goes. He's had some problems with a hamstring injury, so you hope he didn't hurt himself. But he just kept going up. It's a pretty good way to break an 0 for 6 for the last couple of weeks. It's a great... Marcel. Can't be worried about the shot blocker. You beat your guy and go to the goal. It's the second time that I've waited for Marcel to stop, and he's not stopped. The major problem for Coach Turgeon oh. and the Turks loose ball inside up and that's a talented freshman Daryl Morcell out of Baltimore, Maryland. Boy, he can attack down the lane. Rejected by Tchaikovsky. Hey, a little international flair. The big fella a little bit. Tchaikovsky from 
Slovakia and a whistle of foul. Count the basket. There's your guy, and he can really go. Oh, more so. And right here, just not giving up on the play, using that length and keeping it in play. Mark the jump. Her really knows how to move. Gets this guy out of there. Ooh, it's not like that. Ball tipped up and in. More so. Right place, right time. Another one of those kids that's pretty active around the glass. A little more active and a small change foul. They got one. How about this? Doesn't hit first. I think he tapped it into it, don't you? Below the rim? Yes. Dribble, very lucky. They got a run out. Morcel ahead of the field. Oh. And in. How about that recovery, too? Trying to find a rhythm, but most importantly, they have to take care of the basketball and give themselves a chance. Morcel. Good take to the seven here for UMBC. Jordan Grant, shot clock at four. Lyles, a deep three, has it blocked with one on the shot clock. That blocked by Morcel. And that's one of those where he knew the shot clock situation. He knew he had to put the shot up. Exactly. And Morcel, probably the best perimeter defender on this Maryland team, with Justin Jackson being out for the year. He's very good at closing out with the second half. UMBC with the ball to start, and guess what? They start with a turnover. Here comes Morcel right to the hoop, and a good start there for the Terps. Well, that's what he wants to do when his eyes lit up when he saw.